Hi boys and girls, and welcome to this week's science lesson. This week I'll be sharing with you um, lesson five from our science journal. So go ahead and take out your science journal and make sure you find lesson five. It has a picture of this cute little house on it. Here's what we're going to be talking about today. People need shelter and clothes. Can you think of anything else that people might need? Let's take a look. Oh, look at these animals. They're on a farm. What animals might those be? Yeah, I think they're sheep too. Do you know what sheep give us? I don't know. Let's read and find out. What do you think? Okay. Clothing. People need clothing. Some clothing is made from sheep. Oh, let me go back and reread that. Some clothing is made from sheep wool. Some clothing is made of cotton. Cotton grows on cotton plants. I th I'm thinking these must be cotton plants. So these are the sheep and we get some of their wool to make clothes and Cotton grows on plants, and I know some of my clothes are made out of cotton. Have you ever checked the label to your shirt to see what it's made out of? Go ahead and check a label and see if it's made out of wool or cotton. Write C if the picture shows clothing people wear. So which ones can we wear? This is a shirt a bear, and jeans. Which ones can we wear? If you think you can wear it, write the letter C. If we can't wear it, you can write the letter X or just leave it blank. Shelter. I'm wondering, is shelter another word for where something lives? think so because there's a picture of a house here I know I live in a house this is my house yeah people need shelter homes are a kind of shelter many homes are made of wood homes keep you warm and dry that is absolutely true right s if the picture shows a shelter. So which ones are a shelter? What can keep you warm and dry? Can a tent keep you warm and dry? It certainly can. How about a house? Can a watermelon keep you warm and dry? I don't think so. Can a cow keep you warm and dry? No. How about a building? Yes, it can. A tennis ball? Hmm. Go ahead and do your best thinking. And last, what you're going to do is draw a picture of your shelter. So where do you live? Draw a picture of where you live. You might draw a picture of the outside. You might draw a picture of your room. That's up to you. And you're all set for science this week. Off you go, scientists. I can't wait to see all the wonderful work that you turn into our finished work bin. Good luck.